Let's say we are in our Resolume project. Let's go to Preferences, then OSC and let's talk about this. Why do we professionals need to know about OSC? So we are ready with our Resolume set in a show. Thousands of audiences are waiting with anticipation and then your laptop gives you or you have one laptop playing content on one display and you have another laptop in our case four computers here i'm going to explain and you want all of them to play different content but at the same time how do we do that since we don't have eight hands to play four computers at the same time we're going to use the power of osc we will start with making a backup machine running parallel in the show so that if shit goes wrong we get to switch and survive for professionals that is a requirement not a luxury but that is the simpler part so we are going to make the changes in one computer and make other computers follow us let me explain our rig here this one here is my pc down there this one here is a nuck 10 very 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 funny and sweet mini pc this is i5 this can play resolume by the way this one is the trial version one i don't have that many licenses to show the mark so that one is an asus zenbook pro duo and that one behind is an asus zephyrus using cat6 cables we have connected all the computers here to a router and make them a network inside them so that they can listen to each other that's very essential big thanks to myth xyz for making an awesome video few years back on this topic so i took his idea took it to next level, used it for a while, and then I'm going to share it with you. So I want you to take this idea from this video, improvise it, apply it in a very creative way, and blow up my mind so that I get to be your fan. <laughs> Hi, my name is Zunal Sabir Ahmed. If you are new to Resolume, you can have a great start by completing this course. I'm going to leave a promo code somewhere hidden in this video, so follow along. So let's say this is our Resolume project. As mentioned before, we're going to Preferences and here we have our OSC settings. Before setting that up and make sure that we are connected to our network device properly because if you're not connected to no network, this is not supposed to work. Let's go to OSC. So there are default values for OSC input and output port. Don't look at my port, don't worry. I set it custom, just inverted the output and input. So my OSC input is 7001 and output is 7000. Let's say from this computer, I want to just output, not input. So let's enable output. So let's see, what does it do to output? This can specifically output to one resolume or this can specifically output to local host, means this computer here. And this can output to specific IP address. But since we are going to control four computers, let's choose broadcast. And this is the simplest way. So we are broadcasting our OSC output to 7000. Let's see how does OSC output looks. Oh, this looks crazy. Let's clear it up and see. We can stop and we can clear. We can resume. Let's check it out. Is it sending any? OSC but before that let's make sure our entire OSC means any movement any activity in Resolume is sent as an OSC for that let's clear to shortcut let's go to OSC so we are going to have our shortcut panel open here we have to go here and make sure that we have selected output all OSC message what does that OSC message send let's get out of shortcuts let's go to preferences osc and now we have our osc monitor open let's check out whatever we do around here wow this is sending a lot of osc data so we will have to make sure our other computers receive that data let's get out of here for now so we are going to collect our whole project by composition media manager this is going to ask you to save and i'm going to save and we're going to collect a bunch of footages on our pen drive and transfer to other computers i didn't do it as you have seen because i have already done it 
cheating. If you are still watching this video, you have earned it. Use this promo code to get 10% discount in Resolume Masterclass. Okay, so we have copied our whole project to all our computers. Again, let's make sure our OSC output is 7000. So I'm going to check out my second computer, which is Asus ZenBook. So this is taking input in 7000. Let's make sure about that. And yes, check it out. This is receiving all the signals from our first computer. This looks good. So let's get out. For the third computer, let's go and check out what's happening. So we have set the OSC to 7000 and receiving tons of data. So good. Let's go check out our baby toy here, Intel NUC10. This is a sweet mini PC. I love it. Oh, uh, this is not supposed to play Resolum, by the way, but it is doing it. So this is not listening to anything. So this is just deaf for now. Let's turn on input. Oh my God, this is receiving everything. Since I have collected all the projects together, let's check it out. How does this happen? So right now I have all identical project running on four computers. Let me press first one. Oh, this plays nice. They are pretty much sync. So for backup level, I would say they are okay. Oh, by the way, all the perimeters I'm changing are replicating to all the computers here. So you can see I'm changing my decks here and all the computers are following. So what happens if we strobe? Oh, this one doesn't go away. Why? 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 I think I know because I have forgot to put that into piano mode. Am I right? Am I right? Let's see. So if strobe is sync, then everything is synced. So now we can connect two of them into one LED processor and maybe use one of them. Another one runs as a backup. If you see blue screen sometimes or often, then you can just switch to another one. That's for backup. So as we can see, we are controlling one computer, but all of them are following because they are playing the clip I'm triggering. And since these two are identical projects, so same footage is being played. That's not funny for us. That's not interesting for us. What if we play different content on the same spot? Let's say I change this to so my this fire plays and what if I change this fire to here and maybe some weird fire to this tab because I'm triggering one clip from this clip holder different placeholders on different computers so they are being played on sync but they are different contents now look at oh no sorry I got these two contents same but it's okay or I could just replace it with a weird fire. How about let's, because we have control in one computer, we can turn it off very easily. And then we can fire four different contents into four screen maybe at the same time. So here's one idea. Let me show you another video. So I have made one stickman stock footage and he walks from this corner to that corner, goes to top, and then he walks in just a loop. So I have placed that same clip in same position for all the projects. Later, I have repositioned them to make a story. Let's check it out. By the way, let's cut off our master control in one place. So far, so good. The next part is going to be super awesome. And if you like this video, I bet you're going to love our new channel, All About Stage Show. We will talk about everything and anything about stage show including lights visual leds projection mapping sfx pyro whatnot 
check it out. Let's take a look how our stickman starts working from here. Then he goes to that computer. Then, ta-da! And then he would come back through this way and then come back here. So this is just one clip position in different way. So I bet you can do a million of things with this kind of arrangement where you have multiple computers, OS is synced between them and you have different content playing different LED screens. That's going to be super awesome. As mentioned before about the advanced training, camera inside Resilum. If you want to know about that, check out this video next. And hi, my name is Zunaid Sabir Ahmed. I bet you're going to love our new channel all about stage shows. See you in the next video.